Peace, it's Divine Understanding, Born of Law. Today's mathematics is wisdom. Wisdom. It's the Wisdom Month, uh, 2010, Father's uh, Physical. Um, we're going to complete the Triple Darkness. So, if you're in Triple Darkness, before you get to the yellow blue white and red suns you have what is called the black suns they're black holes which is infinite triple darkness uh going in so it's absorbing all light and it's taking it within itself you also have black suns that are um expanding or moving triple darkness outward and then in the middle of uh, uh the uh universe is another um, nucleus of triple darkness going in and out that's what's really happening some of the suns are sucking light in some of the other ones are shooting triple darkness infinitely out as well as infinitely in so you have uh, higher self and lower self or as above so below as below so above inner and outer micro and macro in the triple darkness and the triple darkness is is what's keeping the the uh the triple darkness and the the black holes and the black suns is what's keeping the triple darkness from actually touching the universe which enables the universe to be st stable and gives it its stability so the black holes are suns and there's also suns that uh, are black and they shoot light out. All you got to do is look into uh, the Universal Flags manifestation from Shamgar. You'll see how there's two different kind of uh, black suns. You know, one like I'm trying to emphasize that is pulling light in. And then the other ones that the Europeans don't really know about or don't teach about are the ones that's infinitely pushing black light out. All right, so now that you understand, you have black light coming in, you have black light coming out. So those suns don't have planets rotating around them. They are the barrier between uh, the sun, moon, and stars of the kind that shoot light out, that light up the universe, which, which are white suns, um, blue suns, yellow suns, and red suns. Those suns are inside of the barrier of the triple darkness and inside of the barrier of the black holes and the black suns all right and so now you have the universe manifesting itself on the physical plane um, and that's motion which is wisdom which is motion being made um, then from there man the, that was part of the fall of man uh, it wasn't a bad fall. It was the fall so that the physical composition of Almighty God, Allah, could be in a physical composition. Because to get on a physical plane, uh, the physical body is just a motor vehicle life that you use to manifest on this plane of existence. And it would not be able to uh, manifest itself in the void of space. So it couldn't, it, it couldn't adapt in triple darkness. So for triple darkness... To have a universe, it needed something in between the triple darkness and the sun, moon, and stars. And that would have been the black suns and the black holes. And now you have a stability in the inside of the triple darkness. And now the sun, moon, and stars, which is the universe, they are planets. Planets something that's grown or made from the beginning. Holy something that hasn't been diluted, makes a tamper in any form. And then you had the planets, which are rotating around the suns, and then that fall, and then uh, the animals and earth and all of that fell, and then man landed on top of all of that. And then uh, Almighty God, Allah, told the angels, which would have been wisdom. So if all, Almighty God, Allah, would have been the knowledge, the angels would have been the wisdom and man was the understanding. And he told the wisdom, which every way to where he moved, wisdom moved with him. And he said to wisdom, bow down to the understanding. And only one of them, a bliss, refused to bow down. 
and he took uh, his rebellious angels with him and they uh, refused to bow down to man. And then the story goes that the, uh, and this is, is, is symbolic, but it's also allegorical, theological, metaphysical. Uh, he told them to control the physical plane for a time be of being, for a time. And the, the span of, of time that they had would be six days, which in, in the eyes of the creator, a day is a thousand years. So, uh, in the year 8,400, his name would be Yakub. And he would take the black germ and the brown germ and graft the brown germ out of the black germ and created a uh, European. I know they don't like to hear that they came from the black man, but they did. If you check out all the historical data, all the anthropology, all the sociology, all the excavations, you could go as far as you want to go and as long, and you're always going to find a black man, but it's going to come to a point where you're not going to find a European. He is not going to be on the planet Earth at a certain point in time, but you can't find no end to the black man. The black man always been here. So, um, we come up to Yakub. So, after Yakub uh, grafted his children, and his children uh, left Pilon, and they also went to Pantagonia. They were in Pantagonia, and they eventually uh, went all over the planet Earth. Now, we come up to these uh, modern days and you start doing your history on them and you'll notice that they like to make things extinct. These are things that they may not like to hear, but they need to look at this and look at themselves and say, you know, why do we make animals extinct? You know, outside of the planet Earth making animals extinct through natural causes as far as volcanic eruptions or maybe plate tectonics being earthquakes or meteors or um, comets hitting the planet or things of that nature but they will go and pick something like the dodo bird and just kill every last one of them maybe they ate them all or use their feathers for something, but they into killing up things. So now let's go to the Native Americans. Um, they basically, if there was a, let's put it on a small scale, say there was 5,000 tribes of Native Americans. They at least killed 2,500 of them. If there was 5,000, they wiped out at least half which I'm probably giving them a break saying that. They probably wiped out two-thirds, maybe three-fourths, and left one-fourth and put them on plantations. And then, see, he couldn't wipe out all the Asiatics, uh, black man in, in Africa. But what he did, what he couldn't kill them all, he, he took their land, took the resources, controlled the economics and controlled the natural resources and the gross national product of those countries. And uh, this is what we have today. So today we have the uh, world bankers. The world bankers are controlling the economics of the planet Earth. You, you have them going after a world government, which there wouldn't be nothing wrong with a central government. And if every country was like a state, and then they broke themselves down gradually into cities, it wouldn't be nothing wrong with that except for the people who are implementing the world government aren't right and exact. They, they want to make everybody a slave. See, if they was trying to make it so that we didn't need money, all we had to do was study and develop ourselves as a planet and as earthlings. And they was looking at world government as trying to make everybody earthlings instead of separating and dividing us. And since they separate and divide us, we as Asiatic people, which would be black, brown, red, and yellow, 
we have to look at ourselves as one people and stop separating ourselves as uh, Asians, which would be the Chinese people, and the Mongolians, and the Vietnamese, and the Philippines, and the, all those different groups, the Japanese, and whatever. Even they, within their own group, have a separation between themselves. And they have uh, wars amongst themselves, right? Certain Chinese fight with other Chinese. Mongolians fight with Chinese. Japanese may fight with Chinese. Um, Koreans and, and Vietnamese and Philippines and all of them, they'd be fighting against each other. Then you have in the uh, African countries, which they're at, they're Asiatics too, and they are the black seeds. They fight amongst each other. And kill each other, and the and the Sudanese and the Ethiopians and the um, Ghana and all these different uh, countries that was divided up by the European, and then you have what is called the tribes. Now I don't know all the different tribes of Africans, but those different tribes of Africans, just go on um, CNN, you'll see they're fighting and killing one another. Without the European helping them, they're, they're carrying that on themselves. And then uh, if you go and you look at the different uh, natives or indigenous inhabitants of South America, you say, okay, they might say, well, I'm Ecuadorian, I'm Panamanian, I'm from Belize, I'm from Mexico. Uh, I'm from Cuba, I'm from the Dominican Republic, I'm from Haiti, Jamaican, uh, Trinidadian, uh, Belize, I mean um, Bolivian, all of them, they, they don't get along with each other either, Venezuelan, none of them are getting along with each other, I, I, you know, and, uh, and they're fighting amongst each other, but those are still all Asiatics. If you go to the Circle of Seven Quran, he speak, the, the Noble Prophet Jew Ali speaks on Everybody is Asiatic, and the planet Earth only has two people, Asiatics and Europeans. And all the different Asiatic races can't get along within their own race, or they can't get along with the other Asiatic races. They're either exploiting each other or using up each other's natural resources or helping the European use up each other's natural resources. Now, go to the European races. They got problems, too. The Europeans are fighting each other too. This is all happening on Earth, right? Uh, the Spaniards, the Portuguese, the Italians, and the Sicilians, they kind of like in their own little group. Then you got like the Germans, which is Anglo-Saxon, Dutch, German, and all of them, this blonde haired and like uh, Thor and all of them. They got their own little group. You know, and you got the Greeks and the Romans and the Greeks was kind of on the same plane, but they wasn't getting all along all that great either. Don't let the European fool you and he got you thinking he all loving each other because they be fighting each other too. If you go back and, 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 and look in history, you see the Highlanders was fighting the Lowlanders. The French was having a war with Britain. The Spanish Armada and, and, and America, remember Britain had a fight. With, with the, with, there was this, those were the same English people. The rich English was fighting the poor English. So, okay, now, let's, we're going to bring it up to modern days. Today. Uh, the prophet showed and proved that there's only two people on the planet Earth. Asiatics and Europeans. All right, now, let's take it to another level. There's only two people on the planet Earth, and on another plane would be men and women. Those are the only two people on the planet Earth also. Okay, let's go to another plane. Say everybody is down together, then there's only one person on the planet Earth, and that is, they are called Earthlings. So if you're from, say, Andromeda, and you come to planet Earth and you're observing Earth, you would say, why are all those Earthlings killing and maiming and fighting each other for the natural resources of the planet that they live on and making the Europeans that are, I mean, making the Earthlings that are less fortunate uh, 
use their labor and their sweat equity to receive goods from Mother Earth that is really theirs. That everything on the Earth belongs to the Earthlings. So if everything on Earth belongs to the Earthlings, why are the, Earth, why are the Earthlings that are in more, have more power and more weapons making the other Earthlings who don't have power pay for everything? And why are they trying to wipe them out and kill them? And when there's only about tops, 7 billion of them on the planet. <clears throat> 7 billion people, pardon me. 7 billion people could basically live in a country the size of Texas. The whole planet could live in, te in Texas. So how can it be, see? Now when you think of that, when you say... The whole planet could live in the state of New York. New York is a pretty big state. Okay, say we throw New Jersey in it. Say it was New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, and Philly. Definitely everybody could live in that. The whole planet could live in that type of a geographical location. And the whole planet, the rest of the planet could be left barren. You know, they could make that a whole city, uh, a state city. And everybody on the planet could live there. Now you might say, damn, it's crowded. Well, you can go out in the country if you want to go. You know, freedom. Go do whatever the fuck you want. But the planet itself could feed everybody. Right now, there's no such thing as this planet can't feed everybody on it. Yes, it could. So that means somebody don't want everybody fed, don't they? If the planet can feed everybody and everybody isn't getting fed, then somebody doesn't want everybody fed. Hmm. If the planet could sustain everybody, no one should be sick on the planet Earth because food is medicine for the physical composition. But corporate America and corporations and big conglomerates, which are entities that aren't in control of themselves, so it's got to be some man, woman is doing the devilishment to the people who are less fortunate and just want to be regular. They don't care about running things. Well, the ones who care about running things, they're not nice rulers. They don't, they don't rule right. They don't treat their peasants, farmers, um, less fortunate, women, children, people who aren't very well educated, People who don't have a lot of weapons or armament. They don't treat them nice. So the rulers are the rich. And the lamb are the poor. And the rulers who are the rich, they don't treat the poor people right and exact. So now, this is what the remedy should be then. Since the rulers and the rich, which is like the IMF, uh, world government, court, the world court, the UN, I call out names, uh, IRS, they don't treat the people right, um, ask anybody on the DL, do you like the IRS, they'll say, no, nah, I don't like them. Do you want to give them your money? No. Then why are you giving it to them? Because I'm afraid if I don't give it to them, they'll come and, and take it from me and they'll do things to me that will make it worse than what it is than if I just give it to them. See? So that means they're not doing it willingly. So it's not willingly. That means that they're treating them very bad. All right. Then if we go to uh, um, countries that attack other countries and the only reason why they attack them is because they want to take their natural resources that's not right and exact either you feel me so like i said what's the remedy if all of the common people doesn't matter what nationality you are if all of the common people like tupac said he will make a his own political party he wouldn't give a damn if he was armenian you can join as long as you wasn't rich so if all the common people who don't have a lot of money and aren't rich join together, which is the base of the pyramid, they could tell the rich people to kiss their ass. And they could definitely uh, win the war without using one weapon, without firing off one shot. Now how do you, how do you know that's true? 
Okay, let's just take a small scale. Remember Martin Luther King? Remember they killed him? And remember Malcolm X? They killed him. So they said Malcolm X was militant. They killed him. Martin Luther King was peaceful and they killed him. So it don't matter if you're peaceful or militant. They still going to try to kill you. The people shouldn't allow the rich people to kill them. The ruling class is the ones who killed them. Even if they say, they narrow it down and say it was the CIA and the FBI and the police and whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the physical manifestations of who killed them. But the people who was really running the shit, who put the hit out on them, told those organizations to go after them. Right. Now. So that means that Martin Luther King's plan of boycotting... Boycott works, G, I'm telling you. If all the, if just 17 million Asiatics in the wilderness of North America said tomorrow, which would be Tuesday, say it was, to, say tomorrow was on a Monday. We're just going to make tomorrow a Monday because Monday's a good day to fuck them. So you was off Saturday and Sunday. When Monday comes, if half the country it's just half the country that works. The other half that don't work, they ain't going to work anyway. But the half the country that works just don't go to work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. It'll be havoc. They couldn't fuck with that. And especially if we went to the level, we don't have to be organized to do this. We could just all just do it. Say, fuck them. We ain't going to work. We're not going to spend any of their weak ass fake money that ain't really money. It's just paper. And we just say it's money. It ain't money. And we're not going to cut on on the lights. We're not going to cut the gas on. We're just going to eat raw fruit and vegetables. Uh, we're not going to drive our cars. We're not going to go get any gas out the gas station. We're not going to go shopping. We're not going to do nothing but eat what we already got in the house. We're just going to stay home. We ain't going to cut on the TV so that the electricity comes through so that they can get some money off of us using the electricity. You don't use your stove. Now, I'm telling you, man, just something like that it will change the planet Earth because then the rich people who don't do shit, all they do is sit around and, and collect the money from us who do all the labor. They take all our, they take, they use our labor to make money and then they take uh, approximately one fourth of the money that you make from your sweat equity and they take that too. So they fucking you left and right. So you end up with, if you made four quarters, they take one of the quarters. Every time you make four, they take one. But yet you're doing labor for them and their corporation. So why do they get to take our quarter? What are they taking it for? We just made, we just worked and produced production for them. And they got uh, profit out of the production. Because you got personnel, finance, and production. They got money out of the production. Why are they taking the money that... You paid me to work and do labor for you. How come you get a quarter of that too? You feel me? That's why I say we should shut their ass down. Now, I'm sure if a few million of y'all listened to me and did this, they would probably come and try to kill me. But if y'all did that and they did kill me, I wouldn't give a fuck because we, we would have shut their ass down. And... As long as there's no particular head or leader that they could call leader is the leader of, of us, then it's easy for us to bang them in the head because there's no particular leader. You feel me? Uh, the, the Europeans that are running around here saying they hate so-called black people. And, you know, like the other day they had this uh, fraternity group and they like it's supposed to be black history month so their uh spin on black history they was going to have a um cookout it was called a compton cookout and they were going to mark like do blackface basically without going all into detail what they were going to do but basically it was just a modern form of blackface now let's reverse that have you ever in your life heard of black people doing any kind of racist shit like that to white people 
Never. Not on this planet you haven't. We don't do shit to them. They always trying to fucking do something to us. Right? We don't we didn't go to Europe and try to take over Europe and take it from them. We didn't go to Europe and try to make them slaves and take them and make them work our plantation. We didn't go to Europe and take their language and their name from them and make them have a Swahili name and make them speak Swahili. We didn't do that to them. So now, they did that to us. They took you from your land, whether you was in the wilderness of North America and they made you a slave or a POW or MIA in the wilderness of North America, or they went to Africa and took you from Africa, or they went to Australia and they did the same shit there, or Madagascar, or wherever the fuck you was at. You could have been in Alaska and you could have been an Eskimo and they came up in there and housed your shit too. You see what I'm saying? You could have been in South America and the conquistadors under Christopher Columbus, the murderer, went down there and dogged y'all too. So we all got one common thing as Asiatics. The European is always shitting on us. Every chance he gets, he be trying to fuck you up. Now, they might say, well, every European is doing that? Maybe not every European. But, okay, the, say the majority of the Europeans ain't fucking with you. But what are they doing about their friends? If, if they're Europeans and they're right and exact, how come they ain't stopping the other Europeans that ain't right and exact from fucking us up? So, if, if you're a neutral European, then I say you down with the devil Europeans. If you're a European that's active and trying to stop them from fucking us up, then I'm then that's cool. Cause Malcolm X said, Well, we don't really need you in our organizations helping us. We need you to go and talk to your people and tell them to stop fucking with us. Because if they just left us the fuck alone, we would be alright. We would do what we had to do and take care of our own shit. The proof in the pudding is go and see that movie or that video I put up about Rosewood. Or go look at Kunta Kente. That's another good movie. Look at Black uh, Wall Street. And you tell me one time in history when we ever went to their city or their town and just killed them just because they was making progress. See, that? that's a fucking sickness. There's something fucking wrong with you if you attack us and then talk shit about us and then try to... De de um, degrade us and belittle us for what reason we never fuck with you even when the condition has been conditioned and you made us not like our hair not like our skin tone not like our language not like our nose lips and body and ass and all of that and then even when we start trying to kind of like it and you like it too because you want to put things in your lips you want to put silicones in your ass you want to look like us you want to get a suntan and then you want to fucking try to kill us you feel me or uh you want to uh control us and when we don't want to be controlled you want to kill us that's the sickness there's something wrong with you when the sun shines on everything in the planet earth and only burns your ass that's a motherfucking problem. And with that, I'm going to say peace.